Today we're going to talk about author's purpose. If at any time during this presentation you need to stop and take notes or pause it, rewind it, re-listen, please do so. Alright, let's go back to author's purpose. Why writers write what they write. We're used to thinking of author's purpose as pie, persuade, inform, entertain. However, that is just scratching the surface. So, let's take a moment and dig a little deeper. The deeper purposes for writing can be summed up in the acronym I8. I to inform and explain, to inquire and explore. A to analyze and interpret. T to take a stand and or propose a solution. E to express and reflect or evaluate and judge. Let's start with inform and explain. When an author wants to inform and explain, they will state their point, their main idea, and the purpose for their writing. They try to present information in a way that is new and or surprising. Examples can be found in nonfiction, periodicals, newspapers, and magazines such as National Geographic. Historical fiction, novels like Fever, 1793, or My Brother Sam is Dead. When authors use inquire and explore as their purpose, they wrestle with a question or a problem. They hook the reader with that problem and then lets the re they let the reader watch them as they wrestle with it. In this way, authors are able to show and explain their thought process, which readers can use later on if they're faced with a similar question or problem. Examples of inquiring and exploring can be found in nonfiction, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, and fiction, Hoot, The Westing Game, which are both mysteries. The next one, A, Analyze and Interpret. In this one, the author will analyze and interpret a phenomena that is difficult to understand or explain. They analyze it by looking at all of the parts to see what makes it up, how those parts work together to form a complete working unit, and then they interpret or explain the meaning or the importance of that particular topic. Examples of this would be the unofficial Hobbit handbook, everything I needed to know about life I learned from Tolkien, and the fiction games, fiction books, The Hunger Games, and Among the Hidden. T. Take a stand and or propose a solution. With this particular purpose, a writer wants to persuade their audience to accept a position on a topic or a controversial issue. They describe the problem, propose a solution, and provide justification. Think about campaigns for political office. Examples of this would be nonfiction books like Why Should I Save Energy, and fiction such as The Lorax, Jurassic Park, and The Last Book in the Universe. The first E, express and reflect. When authors use the express and reflect, they express or reflect on their life and experiences. They look at the past and their actions, reactions, to help them see and navigate the present and the future which we as readers can learn from. Examples of this can be found in nonfiction autobiographies, biographies, and memoirs, for example, The Red Scarf Girl, can also be found in fiction, historical fiction, like Breaking Stalin's Nose. The last D, evaluate and judge. When authors evaluate and judge, they focus on the worth of a person, object, or phenomenon. They usually specify criteria to judge their worth. They tell you whether they think this item is good or bad, and then they explain or justify their judgment using the criteria they set forth. For example, the nonfiction site, Rotten Tomatoes, which provides movie reviews, uses this exact formula, as does the book Divergent when speaking about society.